and not have finished the way they should have, but Ali is ready to start things off the right way. Award-winning journalist, she'll be at the game on the floor covering all things Mavs and Suns. You see Ali LaForce on the screen. So I need to know something about these Dallas Mavericks. When you look at Jalen Brunson, Spencer Dinwiddie, they shot 9 for 24 in game one against the Suns. They also shot that same number against the Jazz, so do with that stat what you will. But bottom line, is it simple as those two scoring more for the Mavs to get back in this series, or is it something else? No, I think you hit it on the head. Jalen Brunson was a star, and so was Spencer Dinwiddie in that first round, especially in the three games that they didn't have Luka Doncic. It was critical. Now they have to figure out how to have Luka play well and also them play well, and that small ball lineup is not going anywhere. Jason Kidd kind of joked yesterday. He said, we're not changing anything. We, we have to play small ball. That's who we are. And so they're going against, against a huge challenge in the Suns' bigs. But they showed that the bigs and the rebounding could be exposed in round one when the Pelicans really took it to them. The guards have to be elite for Dallas, though. They cannot turn the ball over, which they historically this season did not do. Uh, they were one of the best in the league at turning the ball over. And so if they can stick to those principles, be more physical and aggressive on the boards and have Jalen or Spencer or both knock down some shots. This is a totally different series and ball game. And as you heard the Suns, they're not taking a single game for granted. I mean, that game looked out of hand for the majority of it in game one, but it was a two possession game with 15 seconds left. As you saw in the highlight, the play where Devin Booker was falling out of bounds, they ended up calling that a foul. But if that one had been a foul, which it was debatable if it was or not, that would have been Dallas possession, two possession game, 15 seconds left. That was a critical moment. And uh, the Suns almost blew it late. And so they, they're not taking anything for granted. Speaking of critical, we know injuries are critical. Both of these teams, the Mavericks and the Suns, both had their main players miss parts of the first round. So how big is health going to factor in to this series? Well, I think both teams were showed early. You can't take, once again, a single day for granted because you can lose a star in the snap of a finger. So Devin Booker, we haven't seen any repercussions from the hamstring injury. Uh, Coach Williams even laughed that in his first game back. He really tried to limit him to 24 minutes a game, but they wanted to win, and Devin Booker wanted to be out there. So he played much more than 24 minutes, and he hasn't looked back since. And he's the tone setter for this team. And then for Luka Doncic, he got... Um, injured in the quad in game one. He kind of had the heat pad on it when he was sitting on the sidelines. He was massaging it out throughout the course of the game. And then yesterday in practice, he did have it wrapped up for the majority of practice. But coach said he is perfectly fine. That was just uh, maintenance. And we shouldn't see any effects of that tonight. So obviously we've seen the numbers as far as the Suns' ability to win games against the Mavs. They've won 10 straight. Do we see the Mavericks right now? Are they losing a little bit of their swag? What is that team's mentality right now as they go into this second game? I don't think so. I think there's a little bit of comfort and confidence knowing that they didn't play within themselves and they lost game one against Utah last round. And so they know how to bounce back from an early loss. Uh, they've done well, you know, dating back, whatever this means, you can look into it or not, but dating back in the last 20 years, um, they have started slow, lost the first game of a series and come back and won seven or eight times. So they, they know what to do. They've been there. They're not intimidated by just one loss, but I do think they know it's an uphill climb, especially with the way that Phoenix really exposed them getting the ball in a ton to their bigs and DeAndre Ayton and JaVale McGee. This isn't like they're going against a team that has bigs where they can run and gun and make them go small because DeAndre Ayton and JaVale McGee can get up and down and go against a small ball lineup and not have to adjust their lineup. So the Suns are going to stay true to their big lineup as long as they possibly can against this Dallas team. Yeah, we saw JaVale McGee rip Luka that last time and take a full court. That was impressive. And by the way, the Dallas Mavericks, over the last 20 years, they've won six times when losing game one. So that's what the number that you were looking for. Allie, we appreciate you. Close. <laughs> hey, you're always on point as always. I know it's a little bit early, but hey, thank you for joining us. Look forward to seeing you tonight.